Happy Sunday once again. Brother Brian in the garage coming at you with some positive vibes, some good energy. I'm still feeling good, man. I've been feeling good all week. Wonderful things have been happening in my life. And, uh, you know, I just feel like making a video right now. And I figured I'd get on here and share some music with you guys, share some thoughts. And uh, maybe you guys want to comment and uh, participate in the video. That'd be wonderful. But I want to talk today a little bit about some of the things I love about music. You know, and one of the things that I love about it is the avant-garde, the art. I love being introduced uh, to new music. You know, I'm kind of a... Uh, they call them Googans, you know, when it comes to music. You know, I love music. I've got all kinds of different music I enjoy listening to. But, you know, some of you guys out there, man, you guys are deep into the music, man. So, if this seems a little bit shallow, you know, please forgive me. I'm just, I'm just sharing my life, my music, okay? I'm sure you guys have way better avant-garde music, you know. You know, the, the term avant-garde comes from the advanced guard. It, it's a military term, actually. It talks about how the, like the special forces of the military back in the early 1900s would go out before the actual military. And they, were, they would engage themselves in you know, see what's going on. They would apply their skills in order to keep their lives, you know. And we have today termed a lot of our music avant-garde music because that's what it is. It's advanced music. It's experimental type music where where people have put themselves out there to for the advancement of music. And, and today I want to share some of the things that I think that are some of the artists that took music to another level. You know, they were the avant-garde of music, and there's so many of them, okay? If you want to make a video and talk about what, you know, your avant-garde music, that'd be wonderful. I'd love to see it. So I'm going to share with you some of my avant-garde music. I think this guy right here, Lead Belly, he was born in the 1800s, and he died in 1949. This guy was a forerunner of so much music. He died in 49. <laughs> and people still enjoy his music. People still talk about how how advanced he was with his music and his style. You know, people still capitalize on his style. You know, he was an advanced avant-garde artist. You know, he did so much, you know, especially being a black man in the music industry, you know, in America. I love folk music. I love Lead Belly. So this is my first, you know, the first album I think I should show would be some Lead Belly. You know, and I'll, I'll, this next one, you guys might be, think a little bit controversial, but one of the greatest bands ever in the advancement of avant-garde music, believe it or not, was the Beatles, man. They changed everything <laughs> when these cats came out. Man, it was, it was crazy. The world changed. I watched an interview one time with Jerry Garcia. And Jerry Garcia originally was going to be like an acoustic, you know, artist. You know, he was going to stick with the acoustics at that time. In the 60s, you know, he was going to be that. And then he heard the Beatles. <laughs> and when he heard the Beatles, man, everything changed. Everything changed when he heard the Beatles. So... If you love Jerry Garcia, if you love the Grateful Dead, you know, you really should thank the Beatles for influencing him, being an avant-garde artist to bring the Grateful Dead to where they are today. Then, of course, we have Pink Floyd. You know, they're another experimental avant-garde artist. You know, the early Pink Floyd Sid Baird here, man. This guy was just, he was an artist, man. Look at this beautiful cover. You know, just pure art, man. That Pink Floyd, 
was about art. They were about sounds. They were about experimenting. So, yeah, they were, they were definitely an advancement in the avant-garde. Another guy. Another guy, man. What about this guy? Frank Zappa, man. His music is just crazy. Frank Zappa. Here's a... This should be in everybody's collection, man. Hot Rats. Frank Zappa. You know, he was a very experimental artist, man. He created some incredible music. You know, not everybody can appreciate the avant-garde. You know, it's just so different. They're, it's so different than the things that they're used to. And that's why a lot of times people, they don't like the artist. It's because it's like, man, it doesn't sound like everything else that I'm used to hearing, man. And I get it. I understand. But you have to appreciate the advancement of the art, you know. And you can't have it without it. Artists like Frank Zappa. Another avant-garde album, Captain Beefheart. You know, this is another killer, man. And then I'm going to show a couple, a couple newer groups that I really enjoy. Robert Pollard, man, he's a very avant-garde artist. He's like this this garage rocky guy man he just does all kinds of crazy experimental music man he's in this other group called guided by voices you know it's it's the same very very good music man i really enjoy this type of music you know it's probably not for everybody but you know it's a newer type of avant-garde you know you get a lot of punk music you know a lot of people they don't like a lot of the punk music because it's avant-garde Let's share another new artist. Now this other this new, this artist here is a newer artist. Her name's Julia Holter. And she's kind of a pop. Okay, you see that in some of the avant-garde is the pop. So I've got I really enjoy her music. Have you in my wilderness, man? Wonderful title here. It's another with Julia Holter. Loud City Song. But this album right here, the reason I showed these is to get to this one here. She did this very avant-garde experimental album, but I just absolutely love it. Right here. Tragedy. And uh, this is really experimental album with different types of sounds. And, and, you know, I mean, you might hear a ship on it. You might hear a truck. You might hear people walking. You know, it's just... A very experimental avant-garde album. Very artistic, man. I love her music. And of course, how about some of this, man? When this guy showed up on the scene back in the 60s, man. Didn't, you know, he was, you know, he changed the world, man. You know, Eric Clapton, you know, he just sent Eric Clapton down. You know, Eric Clapton's ego was so big, he was running around acting like he was the king of the world. Until Jimi Hendrix showed up, man. And, uh, <laughs> you know, the psychedelic, you know. This is just one example of all kinds of uh, avant-garde. You know, do you, Dave, I watched Dave, the pickup artist, this morning, and he was talking about this band called the United States of America. They're very avant-garde. I've got an original copy of their album. I absolutely love it. I didn't bring it out to show. Maybe I should have, but, you know... Back in the 60s, man, with acid and mushrooms, and people were just experimenting with music and experimenting with life, man. It was just wonderful. Jimi Hendrix, I definitely have to throw him in there. It's avant-garde. And then a newer, a newer band here is Acid Mother's Temple. And I've got a few of their albums, and I really enjoy their music as well. It's kind of, a lot of it's like noise, guitar, you know, people say it's drug music, it's drug music. Well, a lot of times these people, not saying these guys, but a lot of times people, they experiment with that to get the sound, you know. Just like uh, Sid Barrett, you know, he experimented with drugs and different things like that so that he could get more in-depth with the art. So, anyway, I wanted to make a video, kind of share some records with you, talk about avant-garde a little bit, and... uh I just love it, man. I just love music. I love having records. <laughs> I love putting them old records on, putting these records on and hearing things and hearing sounds that just, you know, 
it's not so much about the music a lot of times. It's how do you feel, you know, what is it doing to your soul while you're listening to these music? You know, just quit analyzing a lot of stuff so much. And just enjoy the sounds that you're hearing, you know. There's a tape right here I got sitting. I've been listening to Pharaoh Sanders. There's another avant-garde artist, you know. So anyway, happy Sunday. Hope everybody has a wonderful day today, man. Brother Brian's out. Thank you for your time.